Do you guys believe in ghosts? Let me tell you a story as to why I have a script that I've never gone back to. The following program contains coarse language and mature subject matter. Viewer discretion is advised. In other words, y'all gonna hear some on this one. What up guys, story time, it's your buddy Fia here. Um, I just wanted to uh, take a moment to tell some stories. And so this is a new thing that we're doing. Um, I haven't decided what the official hashtag is. It's either gonna be hashtag story time, which I think there might already be a big following for. So it might be hashtag twat.fm story time, um, but definitely hashtag twat.fm, you can check everything out. First things first, I don't know. I know that everybody has their own experiences with the paranormal, whether or not it's real or not real. So if you're gonna jump into the comments just to say that ghosts aren't real, don't worry about it, man. I get that nobody believes everything, right? But here's my deal. I'll tell you a story of some of the things that I've experienced. That's it. I'm not telling you whether ghosts are real or not real. I'm just telling you what I experienced. <clears throat> okay, so we moved out to Calgary and I got a job um, as a night auditor in a hotel. And so what that means is I work overnights, kind of run the books so that the hotel can continue on with the next day. So the way it was set up is I worked overnights, um, which is 11 to 7, 11 p.m. to 7 a.m. And it was two night auditors and one security guard. And for the most part, the hotel seemed pretty chill. I just noticed uh, a couple of things when I first started working there. Um, the way that it's set up, it's kind of built like a T. So from the front desk, if you look down the hallway, you can kind of see like at the very end is like the swimming area. And there is a camera that kind of sits in that area. And the first couple of nights I noticed like, it, it almost seemed like, I don't know, shadow people or whatever. Totally could just be a glitch in the camera. Again, I have no idea. But to me, it looked like there was movement every once in a while, especially in the late late hours of the night, early early hours of the morning. And so I would watch the security cameras a lot just to kind of, vibe with that and I don't know because I've always been into spirits and that sort of thing. I started writing this book or um well it was a, a screenplay for a movie that one day I had hoped to film. Now here's the thing I'm about halfway ish done this this book and the general gist right now it just has a working title called Hotel um and that's mostly because one I was writing it in a hotel and two um it was because uh, it's sort of based around a hotel, at least that's kind of where things take place. And at the time I'd only worked in hotels. So one of the biggest things that everybody says is write what you know, and I, I, I know hotels. So I was working overnight and kind of the general gist without giving anything away, because hopefully one day I'll get to go back and actually finish the, the script. Um, I'm just, <laughs> it's just not something I've been able to do for, I don't know uh, 10, 11 years, something like that. And so anyway, so part of the gist of the story is there's a possession. And so in order to like really get into my story, I was doing a lot of demonology research and different things like that. And I've always heard if you go looking for things, things will find you. I would get all my work done and then I would work on, on my script. And I was doing a lot of demon research, looking at different demons and demonology and exorcisms and that sort of thing, because like anybody that knows me knows I love horror and I love authentic horror and I love the more real it feels, the more into it I am. So I was trying to get really meta with it. And I, w I was looking up uh, a lot of different things and watching videos online. And it just started as little things like um, in static, little like if something would fuzz in and out on the radio, I would think that I would hear something. And at first I was like, man, that's just whatever. It is what it is. But then slowly over a couple of weeks, I started to hear my, like someone say my name. And it started out small, just like, Shh. and I, what? And so I remember I would talk to the other guys I was working with and I'd be like, what, did you, did you just say my name? And they'd be like, no, what are you talking about? I'm like, man, I swear somebody just said my name. And sometimes it'd be pretty loud. Like it would legit sound like somebody just on the other side of the room or whatever said Sean. 
And so, and I was forever like looking around trying to figure it out. And so another one of the jobs that I would have to do is first thing in the morning, I would take newspapers and deliver them to all of the, the guests that were supposed to get newspapers. And the strangest thing about it is I would go up onto the third floor and I'd be in the middle of the tea and I would feel like I was being watched. And this wasn't just once, this was every single time. And it wasn't a matter of like, I feel like I'm being watched from right there. Like, I, like it was this weird sort of all around me. Like it just felt like all around me, I was being watched. And every single time, like it would just make the hair on the back of my neck stand up. I would get like these cold sort of vibes. Like it, it was weird. And like I said, I've had paranormal stuff happen to me a lot through my life. And I don't, I don't know what that means. I don't know if it's like being in touch with the energy or, or whatever it could be, but it started getting really freaky between whispers of my name, um, different things would, would happen uh, overnight. I would hear noises, things would be kind of moved around where I, I wouldn't remember putting them. And uh, I just always thought it was whatever. So the one night I went to my boss and before she left and I was like, hey, this might sound super weird, but the other day, I was still living in the newspapers and I kind of felt like I was being watched like on the third floor and she kind of turned white and I was like, what's up? And she's like, third floor, right kind of in the middle of the tea. And I'm like, yeah, like that's weird. And again, that made me all freaking get all weird. But I was like, why, uh, why, why? And she's like, cause the other day me and this other girl were delivering papers and we were walking back to the elevator and it felt like somebody grabbed both of our hands. And we both started running to the elevator and they both got into the elevator and they were both panicked and they both looked at each other and like, why were you running? Why were you running? And they both described exactly feeling like somebody grabbed their hands so that they just panicked and ran. And I was like, that's really weird because I feel like I'm being watched up there all the time and I don't know what that means. Um, so then fast forward a couple nights more and I was working like inside the back office and I was like, you know what? It's, it's cramped. It's weird. I'm getting all freaky. I'm going to go sit because right across from the front desk is um, like the restaurant. So I was like, I'm going to go sit in the bar. It's wide open. Like the whole lobby's there. Then I can just work on my, my shit and I won't hear stuff or anything like that. So I get down. I'm working away, working away, working away. And then I notice in the glare of my screen that there's somebody standing behind me. It's just a black silhouette. It seems to be, I would say, 10... 10 feet or so away from me, like far enough that I can tell it's a, it's the shape of a human standing directly behind me. And so I just kind of kept working and I was like looking at it and looking at it and it was slowly moving towards me. And I thought, okay, so this is, this is the, either the, the security guard or the other, I actually thought it was the other night auditor cause he was kind of a trickster and that sounded like something he would do would be try to come up and, and startle me. And mind you, at this point, I had not told anybody what I was writing. Like he had his own thing he was doing. And uh, it, so we, we worked together real quick and then he kind of did his thing and I did my thing. And so anyway, I'm like, okay, this, like he has no idea that I, I've been hearing voices that uh, I feel like I'm being watched because um, the only other person was my manager that knew that and we kind of hadn't told anybody. And so I'm like, okay, this guy's just trying to scare me or whatever. So I keep walking or I keep writing and it keeps walking. And then just as the hand comes to touch my shoulder, I jumped up and I said, ha! And there was nobody there. And it felt... Like that moment in Jaws where it's like the camera goes forward, but it pans backwards. That was the sort of vision I went through. Like it was something out of a horror movie. Like I could hear a soundtrack because it was so creepy. And then I, I just felt white and I just felt pale and I didn't feel good. And I was cold and I was, I stood there. I don't even know for how long, just pointing at nothing. And after like two seconds, I was just like, what are you doing? Go. And so I grabbed my laptop and everything and I ran to the back office where the other guy I was working with had his head down on the desk. 
So I ran into the back and I was like, you son of a bitch, you scared the hell out of me. He was sleeping. He was like, what are you talking about? And I was like, you weren't just over in the bar trying to sneak up on me? And he's like, dude, I'm trying to catch rest. This, I, this is my second job today. I just trying to get through it. And I was like, you fucking, you swear on your family, man. And he's like, I promise you it wasn't me. So then I radioed the security guard. And he was up on the second floor doing a delivery or something. So immediately, like, I just, my, my brain exploded. And again, there's a good part of me that wants to believe this is all just my imagination. But what I experienced scared the shit out of me. To the point where I haven't looked at that script in, like I said, 10 plus years. I completely shut myself down to everything. I googled like different things on how to keep spirits away. Um, I did some, some smudging and things like that to kind of clear everything around me. I closed any sort of internal doors saying that like you cannot enter here you can't do this i i've done it with every house we've lived in since then because there are there are days that i worked after that that i felt like something was trying to come home with me and again it could be nothing but it was it was scary enough that i've never looked back and it's a shame because i think the story is pretty well written and now that i'm older and i've got those guards up I might go back to it, but I just wanted to tell the story of the reason I stopped writing that, at least that script. And it took me a long time to start writing anything again. And that's only been recently that I've actually started to, to write again. But man, like wh what was that? What was that shadowy figure that was going to touch my shoulder? What would have happened if I let it touch my shoulder? Like that's the stuff that my brain goes, Hmm. And it kept me up for a long time. Things are good now. I, I, I haven't had any sort of paranormal incidences in a while. But um, I don't know. Have you guys experienced anything like that? And so that this is a new thing that we're going to do is this story time where it's just going to be a shot like this where we tell a story. These are some of these stories uh, have been on the different podcasts. I've been podcasting since 2013. So there are chances that I will retell some. So you guys may hear stories for the second time. But if you guys are new to the channel, this is going to be new to you. And so part of what we do here is we do podcasts, vlogs, skits, gaming videos, and more. But we're going to add story time here because we seem to live a, a really weird life. And that's kind of one of the reasons that we did the podcast. is just because some of the things that happens to us is so zany that we just have to share it with the world. So I'm going to leave you guys off here. Let me know in the comment section below. So if this is your first time, guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button. That way you can come back and not only check out more story time videos, but as well some of the other fun things that we have. And guys, that's it for story time. We'll see you next week.